1 Corinthians 15 is a marvelous passage. It starts with the the gospel of Jesus Christ in verses 1 to 5, and it ends with a declaration of victory over sin and victory over death in the final few verses. The foundation of all victory is in the gospel of Jesus Christ. In believing this message, we find victory over sin and death and Satan and the world. The gospel tells us that Jesus died for our sins. And if this is true, then our guilt has also died. Guilt is like that undertow that drags us back out into the ocean of sin. It it drags us away. It's like the, the ocean waves that come in and then go back out. Guilt is like that. But if we have no guilt, we have nothing pulling us out into the ocean of sin. So the cross of Christ then puts to death the guilt of our sin and therefore releases us from the power of sin. So as we look at the cross, we see Jesus dying with our sin on him. And as he bleeds out, our guilt is gasping for air, as it were. And it, our guilt, suffers and dies a brutal death with Jesus. As he bows his head and breathes his last, our guilt dies, and we can never be condemned before God. The gospel tells us that on the third day, Jesus rose from the dead, and in his resurrection power, we who believe find power to turn from sin and to crucify our lusts. Mankind has devised all kinds of way of conquering sin, but none of them work because they don't conquer death. The gospel does.